Okay, so first things first. Uh, I'm recording this almost a week later uh, than the video you're about to see. Uh, this is going to be uh, just just a quick apology for the fact that I am yet again in a frickin' muscle shirt. Um, I talk about that. Uh, this is uh, this is just going to be a quick apology. I'm apologizing officially that I am yet again in a muscle shirt. I'm back from the states. Got back in last night. I don't remember how many videos I made there. I think it was only two. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wearing yet another muscle shirt. I'm gonna have to admit to myself, I think I like muscle shirts and just live with it, I guess. Uh, also, I'm in Bangkok and it's it's humid. It's warm and it's humid, which uh, where I live again, it, it's dry and airy and I don't have uh, I don't have that problem. So, uh, a little update, uh, two and a half years since, uh, a little over two and a half years since my uh, uh, back surgeries, uh, the last one. And uh, um, on one hand, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly healing. I'm clearly, you know, getting some relief. Um, on the other hand, uh, finally had the big CAT scan after all this. Uh, that shows this kind of stuff better than MRI or X-ray. I, I didn't know that. And uh, clearly, I still have a break in my spine at the repair site, and uh, the hardware is getting loose. That's bad. That's bad. Probably going to have a uh, corrective surgery fairly soon. The, 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 the trips back in here, uh, just for you guys thinking of doing this, it, it, it does take kind of an emotional and physical toll. For me, there's a, definitely a physical toll. It, it's exhausting. It can be, and you got a lot of other things going on in your life. It's kind of like one more added stress you don't need, you know. But um, it is what it is, as I like to say. Uh, emotionally, is a bigger deal. Great coming home, seeing my kids. Uh, uh, I've got about a dozen or so friends back home that I really appreciate, that I'm very close to, that I talk with. Some I talk with regularly and some I don't. You know, at this stage of life, right, most of my viewers are around 60 or so. Uh, you know, 45 to, I think, 70 or something is like my main audience, you know. Uh, by that point in their lives, you know, we kind of are at that stable level where, you know, I've got some really close friends that mean a lot to me, but, you know, maybe I, maybe I only see them every few years. But anyway, yeah, so that's that. And then... I, I, to me, it feels like uh, things back in the States are still are changing much more quickly than in Thailand. Thailand, to me, feels more level, uh, just the same. That could be my perception because I don't engage in the culture as well, um, which is part of the point and, and part of the benefit. Uh, it sounds odd to say, but you get here, people just leave you alone. Uh, 90, over 90% 90 of the Thais could not give a rip about what one sub foreigners and it's not a dig on them at all it, we're not their culture you know they're busy with their own culture and their own country and all their own people already you know if some if i'm in america and some chinese guy walks down the street i'm not thinking gee i wonder what he's doing is he okay I, I, he isn't part of my world and I'm, it's the same for me here uh but it's peace it's peace and as we get older uh i think we tend to really like being aggravated poked and uh whatnot a lot less and boy, you get an awful lot less of that here. And when you do get it, you gotta learn to push back. And I, I need to do a video on that again. I've done, a, I've, I've, I've done that as a peripheral subject or whatever in the past, but I haven't really dug down a deeper dive. I need to do one of those because pushing back is really important because they do like to test. They like to test each other and they love testing foreigners. So, because most of the time we just kind of don't do anything and just do, and they, they, some people can find that amusing and it can get on your nerves after a while. Um, again, the, couple, the two people that I've pushed back on hard, and I mean, I pushed back hard. You can probably look and find that story in there, but I mean, one woman, I was screaming at her at a table full of 30 people. My chair had flipped backwards. I got up so fast and I was pointing my finger in her face. All of those are things you're not supposed to do. I did everything wrong, but I com com completely lost my temper. And... Um, you know, that was on her. She kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me and eventually you poke the bear. Well, this isn't going to go well. And I, I, I take only partial responsibility for that incident. But my point is after that, uh, and I told her at the end, look, I love you. I love your family. I, uh, this is, I can't say who it is, but it's somebody that's still in my life. And now, you know, we get along great. She completely respects me and she certainly respects Fawn in front of me anyways. Here, okay, so here's kind of a, I got my little notebook that one of my really good friends gave me. My other one was getting full. It's perfect uh, timing. I love when people do that. But here's a funny test. So some people will, when you're looking to retire overseas, maybe 
particularly dating or looking for a wife or a partner or long-term girlfriend, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, you will get some people throwing some, some negativity your way and even some venom, you know, and they'll say, oh, you're, a, you're what they call a sex pat, you're a, you're a bad guy, you're, you're looking to prey on some innocent lady or something. I think none of that's true. I mean, there are other bad people. There's bad people everywhere. That there's most most people are just doing their own thing, not hurting anybody. And I'll tell you. So I met a uh, very attractive woman in the states. Just a casual meeting. Just bumped into her somewhere. I ended up having a nice conversation. Just social. Nothing going on. Um, my type. You know, my type. And uh, you know, younger and very pretty. Um, definitely got the vibe. She was interested in me. Um, you know, and it, it, it just caused me to go through a mental exercise, you know, like, gee, if I was here, what would that be like, well, I, dating her, dating someone like her, to, you know, you know and, and it really had me go through the whole thing. And just in the back of my mind, I, was, I went, took a walk on the beach and things like that. I was in LA when this happened. I've grown to appreciate the Thai style relationship. If, if, if I, if I was just pursuing relationships only in the United States, it would just be that Western style. And I like this where it's, what I see more in West is more, you know, it's the buddy thing, you do a lot of stuff together and all that. And, and I like my own time and I got plenty of my own projects to work on. I mean, I'm, I'm myself from my own perspective, I'm, I'm booked up. I'm gonna have at least one big surgery. Um, I wanna do some more skin treatments. I've been letting my skin really rest. It's been almost a year since my last, uh, 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 treatment. I'm just letting my skin rest and so it'll kind of recover, but then it, it'll also kind of start to age again. Um, you know, and I, I, I like looking good. I mean, I, I it, you know, it's not like I'm so dense. I don't notice the fact that when I take a picture with Fawn, uh, at least in the early days of our relationship, I looked like her grandfather and, and, and that bothered me. That's my baggage, but I'm allowed to have things bother me and I'm allowed to fix things that bother me. And um, it kind of bothered me. So even seeing like a really nice, you know, beautiful, vibrant, interesting, and this was a really good person. There was some really, some really cool stuff going on in her life. Even with all that, all the positive attributes and everything, it was like, you know, I'd, I'd just rather be here, be left alone, do my thing. Uh, I'm really eager to get a hold of the motorcycle shop and see how that's going. Uh, one thing that uh, definitely has happened in Thailand that's kind of funny, and this might be of interest to my viewers, is that um, I feel that my game with the ladies is way up from what it used to be. I guess my confidence is way up, and um, and I've cleaned myself up. I mean, here it's a very high social standard for a guy of what you have to be and kind of look like um, to 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 be marketable. And everybody, and that's nothing radical, obviously. I mean, uh, um, my ex-wife and I had a, had this one friend, this one lady. She's a nice friend, really smart lady. And one day we went to we 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 went to see her, and she was all cleaned up. She'd lost some weight. She had her nails done, nice hair done. She was an attractive lady, but she was let herself go a little bit. And all of a sudden, she had unlet herself go. And I kind of looked to my ex-wife a little bit, like I think she's getting a divorce or something. And then so we asked her, how are things going? She was, oh, we're getting a divorce. I was like, yeah, okay. And. So we all see that we all we're all okay. This isn't anything specific to Thailand only, okay? And um, you know, I, I found that's been true here. And and since the standards a little higher here, I've been working on it a little more. So I think I look a little better. I'm a little more cleaned up. My confidence is up because you, as yours would be too. You get so many women flirting with you. And yeah, a lot of it's for negative reasons and stuff. Not all of it is though, but all of it still feels good on the old ego. All of it feels nice. I mean, it, it's, it never hurts my feelings to have some attractive woman look at me and give me a wink or ask me if I have a girlfriend already or, you know, whatever. It, it, it isn't like, oh, wow, that really ruined my day. All right. I don't go looking for it and I don't do anything about it. So in my opinion, by my judgment of myself, I'm doing nothing wrong, but still, I don't mind. And it keeps fun on her toes a little bit. Nothing wrong with that either. I'll probably cut this up a little bit and uh, uh, I'll, I'll hopefully edit some of it out, but there was a, a little bit of background noise in a couple of spots. I'll try to take that down a little and then I think I'll use this as an intro. Okay, I did a sound check. We're good. I put the little wind buffer on there. I, first time I've used it, but it, I, these things do work. Anyway, so Thai style relationship. Dig into this. I want to... I want to just make some kind of points, some bullet points on it, okay? So first thing is, it's much more separate. You're, it's a much more separate relationship, in my opinion. Um, how I engaged back in the uh, States 
was, you know, my ex-wife and I, we, 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 you know, I was, uh, we go to the grocery store together. We, um, you know, she'd you know, be cleaning the house. I'd help her clean the house with something. I'd move the furniture for her before my back got really bad, obviously, things like that. And it's this, you're, 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 you're mixing hands. And which means you're working together, you're cooperating together. And um, in Thailand, you don't do that as much. In Thailand, she is a more perfunctory, more formal. So what do you go? Mikwam soup. He said something I didn't quite follow. I'd say give him a thumbs up and a mikwam soup. Okay. He didn't speak it very clearly. Whatever he said, I couldn't follow it. And shows the limits of my language. Anyway, so, um, oh, I better move to another spot. The sweeping is going to be annoying to you. We were talking about uh, you do things more separately. So it really is, there's, to me, what I see consistently, and again out here, um, so, okay, so just back up that last half a point. So, again, if you're elsewhere in Thailand, I think no matter where you go, at least half of this stuff is going to apply. Is it going to be exactly the same? No. But I think about half of it will apply. Uh, you'll... Things will be more separate. It's more of a formal role. The, the wife tends to be more supportive. She does typically and virtually all of the cooking, cleaning, organizing, arranging of the house, uh, the laundry, uh, you know, and you can kind of tell a little bit how much she buys into the culture and how much she cares for, loves her husband, is she's ironing his underwear, she's doing, it's, it's, it's a love of deeds, and I hate that love language crap, by the way. I don't, I don't believe a word of it, okay? But just, it, it, I'll use that term here, but d please don't think I'm saying, hey, go check that out, because I think that's a load of crap, okay? Um, people are people, and they're gonna act the way they're gonna act, and you gotta sort it out for yourself. And then, but then the husband, for his part, now again, you might get in the village, you might get a Thai guy who's not the best guy, and he's not gonna do any of this, okay? But what, a good husband, yeah, per the culture, might do is he might be handing her a regular monthly allowance, um, help giving her a little bit of spending money, uh, paying for the car, you know, building the house, doing all the big the big man stuff. And it tends to be more of a manly kind of thing. And the roles are very clear and divided. There's none of this. Oh, we're together. We're a couple. We were. We do everything. We share. And they don't. They don't do a whole lot of that out here. I don't. I don't. I, I, I see it from time to time. I do see it. I get that. Um, but that's, a, that's a, I think, less common. It's one option, and it's an option you can take, and I'll talk about more of that in a minute. In, in Thai culture, your wife is more the frosting on the cupcake, not the whole cupcake. Uh, in the past, my ex-wife was the whole cupcake. She says, everything I did revolved around her. My way of showing that I loved her was I let myself be the moon that we the, the planet that revolved around her sun, whatever, and I really supported and loved her and did all that. And, we see how well that worked out for old Rob. So, you know, I look back on this and, and I'll say as my experience as a CEO and as a business leader, and, I, and I'm not trying to brag, but that was my job and I'm allowed to talk about what my job was. So anybody that, that has a problem with that, I, I don't want to tell you. I, I was obviously the leader. I was the leader in almost everything I did. And someone has to come up with a plan and execute it and see if this plan moves forward. And if later on the plan turns out to not be right, because no one's right all the time, then you got to adjust and move and navigate. And for myself, I find I do a better job for Rob than other people. Isn't that a shocking revelation? How did it take me till I was almost 60 years old to figure that out, huh? There's a slow learner. But now I, I, I won't give it up again. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my life. And I did that video just a, not that long ago on uh, changing your luck in Thailand a couple months ago or something. And uh, that is really poignant to all this. If you haven't seen that video, I will recommend that one. Um, it, it, the title's a little cheesy. It didn't get as many views as other ones, but it, it's actually really good content, in my opinion. I'm, I'm, you know, every, when you make content, some of it you think, oh, are you proud of it? Well, I really nailed it there. Another one's like, oh, I did okay. You know, I do my best. I find that it works better for me being my own leader in my own life and having fawn, my Thai woman, as uh, in a support role, which is what she wants. And there's the next big. There's the big other shoe dropping here on this whole thing is a Thai woman is used to, and she's raised her whole life, again, with all my disclaimers from before, to expect her husband to be a strong leader. She's, expect, she's expecting to support him. She's expected to support him. And when guys come here, Western guys come here, and they date real soft, and I'm not 
I'm not insulting anybody. Please don't take it that way. I'm not trying to throw shade on somebody, but they come in more Western style, more soft, more again, more collaborative. A lot of the Thai women are like, what the heck is this? Where's my leader? Where's my strong guy? Oh, heck with him. I'm going to do my thing then. Hey, he's got money. Maybe I can get some money from him. You know, that's what I feel I'm seeing. And I, and I really feel I'm seeing this a lot. Obviously, I have no idea what relationship you're in or you're pursuing. But I think if you come in too soft, I think you uh, uh, run the risk of having things blow up in your face a lot more. With me, I stay on it. With kindness and with love. I mean, again, I've massively elevated Fawn's life. Her parents are saving faith. Her whole family is saving faith left, right, and center. Her kids are doing drastically better. Um, I just came home last night. What a and if I'm and I'm, I'm I'm realizing I might be projecting a little bit of anger edge here on this video, and I'll apologize a little bit. Uh, I'm still a little like riled. I mean that uh, uh, 30 hours in a freaking plane, or you know between layovers and everything. So if you don't lead, you're going to get led, and um, you, you, I don't think that's going to work out to your advantage at all. I I. I'll tell you, I've never seen that benefit a guy. I'm sure somewhere in the history of time it has, but I've yet to see it once. So I, I would really pay attention to that. I would, and, and it doesn't mean to be a jerk or to, to, to be some you know, misogynist, horrible guy or something. I'm just saying be the le someone's got to be the leader. You can't have two people discussing every decision to turn left or right at every street corner. Someone's leading something. I'm just saying they generally expect it to be you. And if you really don't like that, then fine, but then know to modify, know to watch these things. That, there, that's about all I got. I wanna just kinda of put this into three bullet points here, this, this sub point of being the leader, okay? So you have three choices. Option A, be the strong leader, great. It, and I will say, took me a while to get into this. I'm not used to being this strong of a leader with my romantic relationship, I'll call it. This was new to Rob, okay? Took me a while to warm up to it. And it took me a while to get in the practice and the habit. Building habits takes time. And, and now it's working, but I don't want to go, oh, hey, I'm always a leader. I'm, you know, it, this was awkward for me, and it took me a while. Okay, so, all right. Uh, the other thing is you can negotiate a cooperative relationship. I think that'll be difficult. I, could not, I would not be able to do that with Fawn. Um, I can tell you Fawn wouldn't accept that. Um, but maybe you could find a lady that would, and maybe that works for you. So there's that. And then... Um, Option C, you're just going to get stepped all over. If you don't lead and don't successfully negotiate a cooperative relationship, option C is you get stepped all over, which will generally work to your emotional and financial detriment. And, and, and by generally, I mean massively. Gee, Rob, you talk about all this leader and stuff. So what's the benefit? Where's the payoff? You can have what I have. So let me tell you what I have. Um, Fawn supports me in every way. You know, she just reorganized the whole house while I was gone, cleaned everything top to bottom, and she apologized two or three times that things were differently. I don't have my stuff in my spot. As an engineer, I like my stuff in my certain spot. I, I, it, whatever, you know, I, we, we can call it a defect. I don't care. I didn't, never said I was perfect, but I like things a certain way. Um, I like my little freaking spoon, okay? And I want a certain spot by my coffee maker. No, she did that. She knew that and she did that. You know, other, I, I got a shoe problem of some kind. I don't know where that comes from, but I like my shoes organized a certain way. She changed all that and she apologized several times for that. Did I get mad at her? No, but okay, this is a supportive role. I get everything organized and done for me. When I say I need this type of therapy or I'm having this kind of problem, she'll find the therapy, make the appointment and help translate with the doctor. I know basic medical terminology in Thai and that's it. I keep working on it. Sadly, I'm gonna keep learning more. You know, basically, if I dream it or think it and I talk to her about it in any way, even just mention it off the cuff, she's hot on it and she's on Shopee saying, here's that coaster you needed. Here's a Japanese style cup for your coffee you like every morning that you mentioned. In fact, today I'm going to the gourmet bean place in Kolod and buying a whole bunch of beans because I ran out before I left. But she handles all this for me. So she's going to probably do all the driving, show for me around everywhere. Um, and she's got a couple of friends cover some of her stuff at work and they'll support her because once in a while I do favors for them. And so this works for me. So I'm the leader, I'm the little, little goose that lays the golden egg and versus being the family buffalo, you can watch that video as well. Why am I promoting my videos? But if that helps you, I, I, I truly don't care if you watch them or not, but if that helps you, then I, I hope it helps you. Oh, by the way, thank you everyone on the book. Uh, uh, my son uh, did get the, the, the printed version uh, live on Amazon and it's been selling. It's been selling, uh, seems like pretty quick. 
Uh, I told him I, I suspect my viewers probably like myself prefer a physical book than an ebook, but it's, all that money goes to him. He's an adult with autism, rides his bike 2.2 miles to and from work every day. He did it through eight inches of snow last year. The landlord was telling me. I mean, he's he's a, I'm proud of him. He's a tough kid. He's he's really crushing life, and uh, for someone with all his challenges, he's really risen to it. And, I, and, I, and this is the talk I gave him when I just saw him. That all that was a love fest, by the way. It was all just fantastic. So. And he, and he picked out a ton of choice cigars for me. He's elevated my cigar game, so I will no longer be smoking mediocre cigars because, ah, crap, now I appreciate the difference. I, I would say this style of relationship, as you can see, is working for me. Yeah, it's challenging, and, 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 and it, took, it takes a lot of getting used to. And you know, Sometimes I'm in a slightly awkward position because I'm a little fish out of water here, but I kind of like that. Oh, here's my last bomb drop for you, and this is a great one. You are not obligated to share financial information here. You know, a lot of you are hearing that going, well, obviously not. But we all tend to, as I have in the past too. And, and I'm going to tell you, I think it's the wrong move here. This culture, um, it's a little different. But I'm going to just choose my words and bite my tongue a little bit. I've got nothing bad to say about anybody. If you follow my drift, okay. I'm just saying, as the man is, if you go the man and the leader thing, which I'm, I am advocating, okay. I, I'm kind of sharing. I'm, if, you, if you disagree with me, that's fine. Okay, but I'm just saying, I would say check into it. At least consider it. And you do not have to share financial information. I just, I just say, Ming uh, Lun Paul, I have enough money. You know, well, I want something, I want something. She'll... Now, this is the nice part you should also be getting. When I told Fawn I wanted to do certain things and plan, I got a big trip. I'm standing up and maybe the last wedding I'll ever stand up in, I don't know. But one of my absolute best friends in this life is getting married. And it's a long ass freaking trip in Mexico from here. And I'm going to take Fawn and it's going to cost a ton of money to do that, obviously. And um, I told her, it's okay, we're just gonna do it, you know. And uh, I've got to uh, spend some money on some other things. And I'm, aware I'm starting to build a house this year and she was very worried I wouldn't have enough money. And I, on one hand, I don't wanna like lay all my cards on the table. Let me think, I'm never doing that again in a relationship, ever. I'm just never sharing that again. That, that really did not work out too well for me last time financially. I, and I'm no different than other, any other guy that got cleaned out in a divorce. I, I said this once before, I'll say it a second time right here. I, I never understood how and why guys were, somebody cop, were, were, so, uh, were so broke after a divorce. And, and how that, you know, they go from living in a, in a mansion to an apartment and all that, and I, now I get it. I'm not sharing from too much information on this channel either, but I have been recovering. And uh, I'm getting better, and my financial health has been coming back. While I've been laying low here and licking wounds, I've been licking other wounds too. Uh, I'm a planner. And for people that in the past have tried to crush me, have been jealous, haters. When you're an inventor and one of your inventions goes kind of big, the haters come out of the woodwork. I think that's all why I'm a huge fan of iced tea. Um, uh, does he do everything right? No. Does he say things that are stupid from time to time? Yeah. But I like this whole hater thing and I follow his Instagram and I, I've, and I, I found his, uh, I think his 1993 album Home Invasion is a watershed work of, of art. It's a, it's a, it, if you think about it, there's a lot of beauty in those lyrics. And um, when I had some uh, music go missing, I, the long story, boring, but um, one of the first albums I bought back was, was Home Invasion. Sadly, I lost the original cover art with, with it, which, which sucks, but um, it's fine. I don't care, I guess. But I love those lyrics. I find them very motivating. We'll just see how it goes. Thanks. Here's a little clip from driving around in the suburbs of Los Angeles along the beach here with my daughter. I cut the volume all the way off to zero because she speaks a little bit. I don't want her to, uh, to be on there, but I uh, had a lovely afternoon with her. My name is Rob, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.